You're going to hear about Dallas. Dallas Cowboys, duh. Now, you're going to hear about Arlington, Texas Rangers, bitch. But now, this is, this is developed. You just saw what happened there. You know, everybody, everybody concerned about everybody. We were in the pit together. We were in the metal pit together. We were at drinks together. We were at a biker bar together. Or were we at the bone right there? Rooftop bar. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. They love their team, and they don't want to hear anything big. Great lawyers. If you've been involved in accident tolos, it's nice. Yeah. Well, let's go. Where are you? It's time for another edition of Love It or Shove It. Oh, I didn't so what's new with you? Seven years, man. What'd you learn? What do you know? What have you seen? Uh, you know, some more of Europe. You've seen that. I um, can't say I know anymore. Trying to learn patience. That's a tough one. <laughs> yeah. It's tougher, tougher than any language. Yeah, it's not very fun. No. My day is mostly consists of getting up way too early, so it affects my mood. That's no good, doesn't it? It affects everything. Yeah. Cognitive abilities, all that shit. Yeah. New growth. So in what ways have you have you grown in since 2011? Do you think? Uh, patience and schedule. Accountability. Hmm. Not taking the on too much. Right. You're gonna hear about Dallas. Dallas Cowboys, duh. Now you're gonna hear about Arlington, Texas Rangers, bitch. Right. Very big difference. But what I, ways? What ways would you say? No, that's yeah, the difference is what's Dallas, the difference? Dallas and Fort Worth do not at all try to claim to be similar. Don't, so it's fighting words to say one is the other or the same. Hmm. Where did this rivalry sort of begin? The genesis of it? I mean, have you ever visited Dallas then visit Fort Worth? We visited Fort Worth that time. Remember we all went to dinner? Right. Yeah. So it's just a completely different way of life. It's not a rivalry. It's a different. It's like, mm. are, is Africa and Europe in rivalry? I, not really, but. That would probably be the, probably be the wrong terminology. People travel to both, but they're not the same. If you don't go, you could think, well, it's a foreign country. The. So when Russia invaded Crimea and they, all the ah. countries, all the countries put those, um, ah. what are they called? Started putting all the, uh, not tariffs, it's modern. The blockade, I can't think of the stupid word. It's fine, any word. Um, the blockade, the, the ruble skyrocketed, so when the ah. ruble skyrocketed, uh, okay. a language assistant is... Is a, a luxury, not a commodity. Ah. So I was first off of everybody's payroll. Wow. And it just got difficult. Um, the initial host uh, host school that I was with, my time was running out there. Ah. And then I was getting cut from the others. And then tutoring was getting slim because they needed to save. Spent, you know, I also lived in Latvia too, so right. That was so the Baltic states, they're part of Russia or their no, own independent no, no, sovereign. No, yeah, that's what I thought. Sovereign. You said Latvia, yeah. Yeah, so I just saying it wasn't it wasn't all the mother of Russia. <laughs> so it was easy. It was uh, it was a breeze to just go from Russia to Latvia and back. No, no, no. You have to get entry. There's single single entry visas, ah. multiple, double, multiple, so you have to account for that, plan for that. Ah. So, you definitely have to have a visa to even enter Russia. Mm. Stupid ass tourist visa. 
bugger. You cannot go home again. You truly can't go home it's again. It's more different circumstance than it's greatly different person. But I mean, I mean, the but changes happen quickly too. What are we arguing here? Or not? Just fucking bullshitting. I fucking can't.